Dixie Hotshot off the turn in a wide open affair. Currency Union on the outside second. And then it's Key. I ain't gonna lie on the far outside and here he comes. It is Key. I ain't gonna lie down the center of the track in Currency Union along the rail with Apologize closing late. And they come down to the finish and I ain't gonna lie. Javier did it and that's the truth. Javier Castellano setting the single season earnings record here at Gulfstream today of more than $25 million in purse earnings through the year. Javier Castellano sets the mark for earnings in a single season. Javier, what does it mean to you to set this record past, once set last year by your friend Ramon Dominguez? Very special moment and very grateful and thankful at the same time and to be particip participate with the best jack in the country and very proud to be break the record Ramon Dominguez, special guy and, and I got a lot of respect for him and even Jerry Bailey he broke the record the year before the, I mean the, the record before and Ramon he broke it for him I now broke it for Ramon hopefully continue my success and first of all honest and um, put a lot of into in the game and put a lot of effort in me a lot of opportunity to ride the horses and train everyone involved. You know, it gave me a lot of opportunity. My age, he put in a lot of effort. We go through a lot of things in the year and to, to get those moments. And everyone including to be, to get it done this this level. And very impressive, you know, the way they all year round be leading jockey in Gostrin Park with the best jockey in the country. Then you go to New York, being leading jockey in Saratoga and Aqua, a very impressive moment. And I've been you know, very thankful all year round, be leading jockey and win some race. I hopefully continue and thank God for the success. And the stake, the uh, Sugar Swirl, ninth race on the card, named for uh, Mir. You and I both saw a race here for Frank Stronic, a homebred uh, for Adina Springs, and really some nice fillies, but an awful lot of speed in there. Are you going with the speed or are you going the other way? Well, I went with our free roll, but I'm not that confident because if you listen, walk around the racetrack, everybody's talking about the one horse crazy about me. This horse had won five races in a row and come back, and just uh, Jorge Navarro seems to be doing a good job here. So we'll see what happens with the race. And the horse that I think that might close closing here is the number three heart steel. It might take him a little bit off the pace and come running late. But like you meant, not a big field, but a very, very good field. They're racing in the Sugar Squirrel. Our free roll straight out to take the early lead, opening up a length and a half from Munning's sister, Classic Point, and Crazy About Me on the inside. Heart Stealer is away in fifth and four lengths off the lead early. Twice told tail trails, six lengths from the front as they race toward the half mile pole. Our free roll out there by a length, Munning's sister second, Crazy About Me third to the inside, then Classic Point. The opening quarter was in 22 and one. Heart Stealer is now being pushed on for more speed, splitting horse is in fifth but beginning to move up on the turn and heart stealer just grabbed third the trailer is twice told tail five sixteenths to go our free roll munning sister heart stealer coming up to them now classic point very wide dropping back Crazy About Me cuts the corner in Twice Told Tail. They're into the stretch. Munning Sister on the outside of Our Free Roll. Heart Stealer all out to stick with them. Our Free Roll digs in at the rail. Munning Sister, Heart Stealer on the far outside. These three down to the line. Our Free Roll, Munning Sister, Heart Stealer. Here comes Heart Stealer on the far outside with Our Free Roll, Heart Stealer. And then it's Sisterhood away in fourth. Moment and Dixie saves all the ground. A three wide run for Ready Signal. In behind them comes Shore Root, who's racing five lengths off the lead on the first turn. Three lengths farther back to Ana Luisa, and then comes Anne of the Dance on the inside. Game Noir is after that, and then Topazio and slow starting Nikki Starshine. On to the back stretch they go, 24 flat the first quarter, and the leader is Miss Montreal. Paco Lopez and Miss Montreal a half length in front of Baffle Me, who's second to the outside. Then Angel South, Ready Signal, Sisterhood between those two. Moment and Dixie sixth on the inside, four lengths off the lead. Shore Root is next by three and a half. And then Ana Luisa, Gamay Noir, Anne of the Dance, Topazio, and the trailer is Nikki Starshine. 48 and one for a half mile. Around the far turn, Miss Montreal by a neck. 
Baffle Me continues to press on the outside. And a four-wide move from Shore Root, who revs it up quickly now. And Shore Root makes a move for the lead at the top of the stretch. Then Ready Signal, Angel South, Moment and Dixie on the outside. And Anna Louisa's on the far outside and moving up. Then Sisterhood, final furlong. Baffle Me on the inside. Miss Montreal fights on Shore Root to the outside. It is Baffle Me, Miss Montreal, Shore Root, late move, Moment and Dixie. And Anna Louisa, here's the wire. Baffle Me has won.